there shall be new heaven and new earth. This will happen at the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The new heaven and new earth is mentioned in three books of the Bible, one Old Testament book and two New Testament books. These books are Isaiah, Peter and Revelation. This present heaven and earth we behold now shall pass away. The heaven shall pass away with great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth and its works thereof shall also burn. How awful this day shall be! The day, week, month and year this shall happen is unknown. Even the holy angels with him in heaven don't know when this shall be. There shall be no sea on the new earth because there is no judgment of God there. The new heaven and new earth are places both prepared for everyone who accepts Jesus Christ as his personal Savior and Lord and continues in him till the end. It is a place where no one will say I am sick, a place of health, a place free from all demonic activities, a place of no darkness, a place filled with the glory of God all day long, a place of eternal joy. A place where the wolf will feed with the lamb. All tears will be wiped away in these glorious cities. There shall be no more death in the new heaven and the new earth. We shall leave in eternity with God. This present world is full of sorrow, hatred, enviness, malice, adulterers, fornicators, soothsayers, sorcerers, transgenders, and marriage with same sex, scoffers and wickedness. In the new heaven and new earth, there shall be none of these. It is a place free from all manner of sins and transgressions. He that overcometh shall inherit the new heaven and the new earth. A place where we shall behold the fullness of the glory of God all day long. We shall behold the Alpha and Omega in His glory and even sap with Him in the new heaven and the new earth. Hallelujah! Hallelujah!